Hey guys, Collecting Community here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I make Pokemon TCG related content, mainly about buying and selling Pokemon cards, but anything Pokemon card related. So if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. And this is a, a lunch break video. I've been making a couple of these out of necessity, just because I don't have time uh, for anything else really. And right now I'm parked. <laughs> I just finished my lunch and heading back to the job, but I want to make this video because it's something that I'm on, that's on my mind and maybe a lot of you guys are thinking about this as well. And the topic today is, are modern cards overpriced? I'm going to tackle this in the best way that I know, talking about my experiences. I sell Pokemon cards on TZ Player on my Discord. If you guys are looking for Pokemon cards at a discount, free shipping, no tax, join the Discord fam. I'll link it down below. I sell on it and a lot of other uh, reputable sellers so you don't have to worry about <laughs> getting scammed, which is a big deal now. So take a look at that. Okay, now what brought this topic is that I made a video showing some um, pickups of some modern alt arts which they're getting pretty pricey now three of them for five hundred dollars over five hundred dollars and in that video someone commented the modern crash is coming brother <laughs> and i love that comment because i i really think they were looking out for me and this is something that i personally thought about and i'm sure maybe you guys are thinking about this as well some of these cards uh alt arts from sword and shield are climbing up to some of these crazy, crazy numbers. And I wanna talk ab about that. Is it justified? Um, what am I doing? Am I buying, selling? I am buying, I am buying everything though, not just modern. I am buying, um, I have this um, <laughs> binder, um, time capsule binder that we're keeping track of different cards, how they move throughout the market. And I'm keeping track of XY cards, first edition cards, shadowless cards, uh, black and white, sun and moon, right? So a lot of cards from a lot of different eras. And um, as I do this, the reason I'm doing this is because I believe the higher end cards of the sets the, um, are going to be moving up the most just from what I've seen. I sell <laughs> cards all the time. I've sold over 100,000 cards through TCG Player Direct. And I've personally shipped out over 12,000 orders, so more than 12,000 cards. So I have in, in my Discord, right, I have a good gauge of what people are buying. And really, a lot of people are, are buying the modern cards. Um, so I don't think it's inflated. Um, it's not artificial. I should, I should rephrase that. I don't think it's artificial, but I do think it's slightly inflated. Um, the reason I don't say... I didn't think it's artificial is because I'm seeing people buy in a very strong demand. Like when I put an alt art for sale, whether it be in my Discord or TCG player, I know that card will sell. People are looking out for it. Now, I do think it is a bit inflated for modern uh, modern cards, alt arts, especially for from Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield is a set that... Uh, everyone came back with and on the hobby because of the pandemic a lot of you can say people were at home bored wanting something to do i think it, people are seeing their uh, money deteriorate in value so they want to put it in something that will appreciate in value like collectibles right that would uh, that makes more sense to me but everyone came back in the hobby i feel like or a lot of people during the sword and shield era so a lot more cards were graded during that time. You can look at starting at like um, the, what was it, Charizard VMAX from, I think, Champion's Path. One of those, the Charizard VMAX got <laughs> graded to oblivion. And this was like during the start of the pandemic. So if I go back and look at the population count of that card now, it's going to be a lot more. And you don't really see that in uh, XY era cards, Sun and Moon era cards. So <laughs> that's something to think about. Now, is it justified? And this is uh, the reason why I am buying these cards at any time, whether it be now or... Um, I'm not actually going to wait for these cards to 
drop in price. I know some people uh, will try to do that, but that's called timing the market. And I don't suggest that in stocks, in anything. So that's not what I'm going to do. And by the way, any everything in this video is not financial advice, none of that. It's just talking about my personal experience, my opinions, things like that. So I do think it's some of it is justified. Not not everything. I Like I said, I think it's a bit inflated, but sun and moon sword and shield i mean sword and shield yeah sun and moon some of them sun and moon and sword and shield alt arts mainly sword and shield alt arts the v max um provide something that has we haven't seen in the hobby if you think about the artworks and the type of cards that have been introduced the older cards don't have the full artwork right the sun and moon xy era cards are starting to become have the full full artwork different uh better types of artworks like the alt art um sylveon gardevoir the alt art ladios ladios right from sun and moon they were having better artwork and they were full art um texturized and that followed through with sword and shield sword and shield created some alt arts beautiful art art all arts but the v max alt arts stand above the rest because if you have a, if you had a chance to look at these cards Personally, like I've had a really big collection of VMAX alt arts, all of them, multiple copies of the higher end cards. I've sold it all, but anyways, um, the VMAX alt art provide amazing um, artwork, but also textured and shine that is unmatched. If you look back, texture and shine have been there for full arts, XY. Um, artwork has been there for... Uh, generations if you take a look at um, generations ev um, sylveon beautiful card beautiful artwork but it doesn't really have texture it doesn't have shine and that's what alternate art vmax alt arts provide the really amazing uh, artwork texture and shine it has this like glitter shine spec that is new you don't see that in any other cards definitely not the v alt arts it has to be the v max right so v, v max alt arts and alt arts do provide something unique in the pokemon trading uh, hobby card game right so i do see value in that now i do say it's inflated because some a lot of people came back during that era and a lot of cards were <laughs> were printed during that time because the demand was high scalpers right if you guys lived through that you will know pokemon uh printed more more sets more waves than usual because the demand was high so there's a lot more of sword and shield product floating around in the market and people if you guys have heard of those scams right or factory line workers um taking advantage of their job and hoarding like that one uh scandal of a bunch like thousands of espion vmax altars and all uh, bunch of hits from fusion strike um it got stolen from the factory line and the worker was being an idiot and wanted to sell them all to one uh one card store and of course the card store is like all right this is sus and uh reported that that got um taken care of but i do see a bunch of value in these cards even though they are printed i do see value at not as high as they are now i do think that's partly inflated and also partly mar market manipulation but if you take for example the sylveon vmax altar where it's at, at like 300 i do see it true value being around that price maybe 150 200 um but it will keep <laughs> climbing throughout the time so true value now is definitely going to be not the same in, in the future, right? In the future, true, true value of those cards that are still minty or really good condition ones are, are going to hold, I think, and, and increase in value. So some things that I've been thinking about, I wanna know your guys' opinion. Do you guys think uh, modern cards are inflated? Another, uh, something I want you guys to think about is that the Rayquaza VMAX Altar, this is another great example of why I think it's these some of these prices are inflated requaza vmax altar take a look at market price take a look at what they're being offered psa 10 on ebay less than a hundred dollars for a ps the difference from a uh, raw card to a psa 10 and that to me it means like it means that the raw 
price of the card is moving up way too fast, maybe even artificially because raw cards um, can be manipulated through TCG player, buyers, right? Uh, mainly sellers and people buying, buying things out. So that could be manipulated, but the slabs are harder to be manipulated because they're done through usually eBay, usually auctions, or people just interested in these cards, but that doesn't move the price uh, very dramatically or quickly. So I think the true value of the PSA 10 is uh, the slab is actual real and the raw card is just inflated a bit. But those are some of my thoughts. I wanna know what you guys think on this topic. Press the like button if you like, like this video. If you want to see some more from me, subscribe and join the Discord fam. We can talk about cards. You can get deals. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.